all right guys let's move on so this will be another quick tutorial because since we've already set up the activity all we have to do is fetch the information which we have done quite a number of times before i begin though i should mention that while doing a test before actually recording this i felt the square image you didn't look very nice again this is up to you use whichever you like but i've changed back to the circle image view despite it being repetitive in the tutorial i think it actually looks nice all right and another thing on our single user dot xml which we created for our, for our user list i felt that the image and the text were too close to each other so i've added a bit of padding to do that you simply click the image you scroll down to padding on the attributes and for right i put 16 dp okay then let's move on so to fetch the data the first thing we need is a database reference which i will call user db and i will initialize it right here user db is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and then immediately i'll go into the users table with the child users and i'll go into the particular user with the child uid Next thing is to add a value event listener, which I will do all the way at the bottom. So user db dot add value event listener, and I'll terminate it first. And then in here, new value event listener, and I can start fetching all the data. So string, username string is the first one, is equals to data snapshot dot child username dot get value dot to string and i'll duplicate it twice with control d change this to status status string and this to status and the last one i will call image link and i'll change this to image and now we can actually use that data by saying first username dot set text username string and then status dot set text status string and finally we can use our old friend Picasso dot get dot load image link we'll add a placeholder r dot drawable dot nif dot into avatar avatar by the way since i changed it in the xml i'll have to change it here so just type image view and make sure or oh, circle image view and make sure you select that you only have to do that if you also change just a circle image view and that should be all yeah so i'm going to run this and see if i made any errors all right there it is so let's go to users and there are users and yeah that's looking better with a bit of space between the image and the text so i'm gonna click on one and there we go there's the profile working our image our username and our status i guess one other thing i could do is give it a tiny bit of padding here as well so that it's not hugging the top of the screen but other than that that's fine that's working exactly as we want all right so let's do that let's go to our activity profile i'm going to click this go to padding and for top I'll say uh, 24 dp okay and I can get that running and the last thing I will do we won't implement this right now but we may as well have it is I'm going to put an on click listener on the button so message dot set on click listener not on long click on click listener new 
on click listener all right i'll just leave that at that for now we're going to do that in the next one and i believe that is it we can see how it looks in the next uh, tutorial but for now at least we've achieved that little bit of work so we'll do the rest in the we'll do the next thing in the next video thank you very much